hey guys welcome back uh, this is Amit and uh, in this tutorial uh, we will uh, learn a uh, few more things about apex rest how we can use XML as a request and response in apex rest how we can use wrapper classes to get the data from the third party how we can deserialize the object into sales uh, how, sorry how we can deserialize the Salesforce re uh, the request into Salesforce objects directly uh, with the help of wrapper class and uh, 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 we will also test the apex test that we will create here so first thing we will test how we can uh, use the xml uh, as a response because in uh, earlier in the previous tutorial we learned how we can create an apex rest how we can test the apex rest using workbench and with the help of json format so <coughs> here in this tutorial we will see all the things uh, related to the XML format so let's uh, do the test regarding the XML that we created the Apex rest so this is this is where this was the class that we developed uh, in our previous tutorial so we will use XML format to create the book using the post method I added uh, an extra parameter that is uh, for pricing to uh, send the price of the book from the third party so we will see how we can <coughs> send these things over using the XML format so first login into workbench using the production as we are in developer environment so in the book tab we have Salesforce integration version 1 version uh, platform developer 2 updated and apex rest so <coughs> go to rest, rest explorer select post and for the URL we need to select our URL like book management yeah for body, uh, for body we, uh, the first thing that we need to put is request and then second thing that we need to send the parameters uh, the name of the parameters will be the same that we are sending into the, our method we have place like name over here so we'll put name start tag and in tag for the name we can put for example we wanted to create for the lightning lightning company developer guide and for the price and let's say we wanted to put 1.578 <coughs> so <coughs> let's execute and see if we are able to successfully process the request or not yeah we are getting the error the error is for our json parser like if we are sending the request here in xml format and we are still getting the json parser error so for this what we need to do we need to make two small changes one is in the header we need to change xml instead of json we need to put it as a xml so now if we'll check if we'll click execute we will see the response as 200 200 means the record has been created into salesforce if we'll see the response we'll I scroll down to the bottom and we will see the response in the XML type book ID lightning component developer guide and price is 117 points so if we'll go to book tab again refresh the same <coughs> uh, we will get here we can see lightning component developer guide and the price is whatever we uh, pasted whatever we send from the developer con sorry from the workbench <laughs> So the next thing uh, that th this is the way that we can use the XML format to send the request to send the values to our Salesforce as a body. So this this request is a mandatory thing that we have to put the request, and then after here we can put our parameters whatever we wanted to send from the third party. So as we are testing, so we are using Workbench as a tool. So here now we will see how we can use wrapper class. So for example in the book object I have many uh, fields and uh, so we don't we need to pass different different fields over here inside the method so to overcome this kind of issues to overcome this kind of workload we go for the wrapper class so let's create a 
class that is called as books info and then inside that we will create only one parameter that is called as book so <coughs> in this example what we will see we will see how we can deserialize the response into the Salesforce objects so here we created a wrapper class and inside that we created a object book this book object will contains all the fields that book object whatever the book object have uh, in our case we have only three fields name author and price so here now we will change our method create method we will change the parameters we will change the things we will create book in info and here in the book we will see that this is the object of the wrapper class and we have a method inside the wrapper class this is the object the wrapper class and in inside that wrapper class we have a variable called book so what we are doing we are calling that simple book object and then we are inserting and returning so now what it will do how mm, it will uh, act how it will uh, do the things over here in the salesforce whenever we will send the response we will send sorry we will send the request from here it will deserialize it will automatically deserialize the request into the object that is called as book or custom object so for sending the request i have uh, i have created a request that it's here i put let <coughs> let me put into workbench and now i will explain the request so this is the request the mandatory things the outer parameter that we have to put if you are using the xml if you are not using xml then uh, the request format will be different now this is the book this will be the this is the parameter that we are passing inside our method so we need to use that parameter inside our method book info okay so this is the starting point and ending point inside this parameters because this is the object of wrapper class we have a variable called book so and in this book we have different different fields we have a field called name we have a field called price we have a field called author so in the author as this is the lookup field we are send uh, we need to pass the user id so in the user i have the, that much active user so instead of passing my id i will pass this sales user id and you see here and in the header we need to make sure that we are passing the xml so that we didn't get the parser error so now if we'll execute uh, sorry actually uh, we should update the name of this one like just update it version 3 like as we can see the uh, response is 200 id type whatever the body if we'll refresh we'll get two two books with the same name and with the same price because we didn't update the price here you can see so now we will update as version 3 we will change the prices $200 and we'll execute you can see the response is 200 ok and if in the response that we are returning the whole book object we will get all the data including the ID 200 whatever the author is so now if I'll go and refresh the book tab you will see that we have created we are able to create a book record Salesforce integration version 3 the author is sales user and price is $200 that we put if you wanted to see the record you can see this particular record so th this is the way that we can use xml and we can deserialize we can deserialize the data that we are getting from the third party into our salesforce object we don't need to do any parsing things that uh, we uh, generally do using the dom parser sorry dom parser or uh, if you are passing the json uh, if you are passing the data in form of json we don't need to pass that because uh, we are using the uh, dom parser uh, sorry we are using the wrapper class and then we are simple parsing the request so now let's see how we can send this this is the simple uh, xml request let's see how we can send the same request in the form of json format so let's build uh, 
JSON response. So this is these are the required mm, curly braces that we need to put before we can put our response. So first thing that we need to put is the parameter that we are sending in our uh, <coughs> method we are sending book information so we need to put the name of that parameter and inside that parameter we have a parameter called book where we can send the uh, details for example we wanted to send name just send advanced apex and then price so the name the here whatever the values we are putting we should give the api name of the field here if uh, this is the standard field so we can put name and for the price these are the custom fields so we should put the underscore underscore c and then author so uh, how just let me copy the API name of author field and then uh, we have to send the ID so just copy from here and send ID over here so before as we have changing this request into the JSON format so we have to change it uh, we have to change the headers we have to change from XML to JSON so we have to change it